Welcome to Win the Battles Over Workshop. So excited you could join me. The link's below for all the sheet music as well. I've highlighted the different sections so you know where I'm at in each lesson. And there's some sheet music for you to print. Uh, oh, you can find all the lessons there. First three lessons here are free. And here in lesson one, we're gonna dive right into it. So not shown on the sheet music is our introductory E note. That's just where we're gonna start. Although this tune is commonly played after Green Hills. So if you've already done my Green Hills workshop, again, you can find it through the link below. Um, this is a great one to add on. So we're starting at the E, at least for now, and we're going down to the low A. So that's the little chunk we're gonna work on here. We'll add in those embellishments in a moment, but just to give you the non-embellished version first. So uh, E down to low A. So our bottom hand is in the low A position already, pinky fingers up, our top hand, our ring fingers up off the chanter, and we're just dropping down that ring finger to low A. So that's the non-embellished version. So we've dropped down in that low A, and then we're going up to the B just by lifting up the ring finger on the bottom hand. That B is quite short, and then we're already going up to the C. So from B to C, we're going to drop down the pinky finger of the bottom hand and lift up that middle finger of the bottom hand. From that C, we're going up to the high A. And to get to that high A, we're gonna drop down to the low A position on that bottom hand. And the top hand, we're lifting up the thumb and the top two fingers. So all together, non-embellished version. And then let's add in those embellishments and then we'll talk a little bit about timing, not too much music theory to make your brain explode, but just, just a little bit of where those downbeats are gonna happen. So, embellishments. We got a big fat G grace note. From that E introductory note down to the low A. So that top finger is our G grace note finger. It has to lift first, then we drop down the ring finger, and then after that ring finger is dropped down, we bring the top finger down. So that's our G grace note. From there we go up to the B, no embellishment. And then we have a big grip on the C. So uh, very similar to how Green Hills uh, starts. Again, the link's below if you wanna check out that Green Hills workshop. Really common to be played before the battle's over. But let's talk about that grip. So we're on the B to, and we're doing a grip up to the C. So we have to drop down to low G and then do a D grace note. So that's the first half of the grip. So we drop down to low G, we do a D grace note with the top finger of the bottom hand. That's the first half of the grip. Second half of the grip, we're just popping up to C. And that's the second half. So all together for that grip, And just keep it slow, get some repetition with that before you build up the speed. So there's our grip from B to C. After that grip, C up to high A, we're doing a high A doubling or half doubling, strike, whatever you want to call it. In any case, we're going from C up to high A and immediately our thumb is doing one swipe here, not two, just one swipe across. I swipe down, if you swipe up, don't worry, I'm not gonna make fun of you. Uh, it, it doesn't matter which way you swipe in this, but for this embellishment, we're just doing one swipe. 
So the thumb comes off and you do that swipe. So let's add that all in together and then you have all embellishments for lesson one and we'll talk briefly about timing. So that's the embellishments for lesson one and timing, a little bit on timing here. Don't want to give you too much to overwhelm you with music theory, but just a little bit on timing. It's a three, four tune. We can tell because on the top line on the left, there's a three above a four. That tells us three beats in each bar. Uh, bar is a space of music between two vertical lines. So you'll see lesson one is highlighted in that first bar of the sheet music, uh, a bar or a measure. A measure is the same thing as a bar, a measure of sheet music. And then the four tells us the quarter note gets the beat. And there's quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, half notes, all, all that all that jazz. I'm not going to dive into all that right now, but um, just, just very briefly, kind of the timing of this first bar and where those three downbeats are. And the downbeats is where you're going to tap your foot. So I'll just kind of play that and I'm just going to tap my chanter on the table here. So that's, if you can hear the chanter tapping, that's where those downbeats are gonna happen. So the first downbeat is gonna be on that low A. Da, 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 da. Second one is on the C. A, B, C, A. And then that high A. A, B, C, A. So if you're trying to figure out where the downbeats are, you can even like print out the sheet music in the link below and do a little tick mark with a highlighter or a pencil, and then you know where those downbeats are happening. Um, the other thing I want to mention with, with the timing of this is, uh, is singing and clapping along. So, you know, sing it, clap it, tap your feet. The beat is stored in the body, not the brain. And so it's good to understand music theory cognitively, but you really got to move your body and get into it uh, to be able to, to get a grasp on that. Uh, so one more, t you know, a couple more times here with the timing. A, B, C, A. One, E, and two, three. So that'd be kind of one, E, and two, three. That'd be kind of how we count it out with numbers, but even just singing da, 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 da. So working on timing, just singing or listening to a recording is really good. Because when you're trying to figure out the notes and embellishments, you can't really do timing at the same time. You just got to pick one thing to focus on. But eventually it'll all come together. So keep at it. Can't wait to see you in lesson two for when the battle's over. And until next time, happy piping.